In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your messenger chat not syncing between devices after the end-to-end -end encryption. So there's actually two different ways we can fix this. The first solution is you need to head over to your messaging app, click on the navigation bar in the top left hand side, click on the settings icon in the top right, select privacy and safety, select end to end encrypted chat, click on security alerts and then press view logins. Now, what you'll need to do is log yourself out of any devices that you're currently signed into here. So I'm just going to go through each of these one by one and then simply press the log out button and then press remove. Now, once you've signed out and removed all of your devices from this logins page, you'll then need to head over to your iPhone home screen, click on the settings app, scroll down and select general, click on iPhone storage, scroll down until you see the messenger app and click this, click on offload app and then press offload app. Now, once you've done this, just simply press reinstall app and then give that a few seconds while it reinstalls. Then we can head back over to our home screen, come over to the messenger app. And now what you can do is sign back in to all of those devices that we just previously logged out of. And then you can confirm to see if your messages are syncing between devices. Now, if it's still not working, we can come back over to the navigation in the top left, click on the settings icon, select privacy and safety, select end to end encrypted chats, click on message storage, and then from here select delete secure storage now before we press continue just bear in mind that this will delete any messages that may have been saved during the period where the end-to-end -end encryption has been turned on but once we do press continue it will effectively stop any messages in the future from not appearing or showing up on our devices so i'm just going to go and press continue and as you can see secure storage has now been deleted so if we head back over to the messaging app that should have now solved any issues you were having if you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.